I'm not gonna lie. Letting your brain run rampant with ideas or jotting down any crazy blog posts does sometimes produce great results. But amidst all these ideas, you do still need organization for your blog, which is why the categories and tags options are in WordPress. So think about this. If you happen to notice your blog getting cluttered with dozens of featured listings or how-to articles, then it's time to start categorizing each type of those blog posts. Or in my words, you wanna put them in their appropriate buckets. If you have feature listings, you wanna put them in this bucket. If you have how-to articles, you wanna put them in that bucket. If you have city guides, you wanna put them in that bucket. That way, everything stays organized on your blog. So you can find information you previously wrote about and your users can find other extra information they want to learn about. Tags, on the other hand though, are meant to highlight any kind of key qualities within the content. So if I happen to be writing about a luxury home, I might categorize it as a feature listing, right? But for the tags, I might highlight any kind of features within the home, such as swimming pool, in-home theater system, or even the man cave, right? That way, if I happen to be searching for homes with swimming pools, I could easily scroll down, click the tag that says swimming pool, and find other blog posts that have homes with swimming pools. So you have to think of it as like a search function. You know, buyers already have the ability to search by location, search by price point, but now they can also search by the blog. They can narrow all the information down because you've kept everything organized. If you'd like to learn more information about this, check out our cheat sheet available for download and let us know what you think.